Israel's former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is acting like a leader who's only temporarily out of office, writes Ben Kaspit. Since leaving his post earlier this month, he continues enjoying perks of his former job. Now he hopes the government led by his former protege, Naftali Bennett, will quickly fail. Meanwhile, Netanyahu's Likud party is thinking of the future. Afif Abu Much looks at who in the party's leadership is ready to challenge Bibi for control of the party. What does the departure of Netanyahu mean for Israel's ties with Jordan? Relations with the kingdom were strained under the former prime minister. Hussam al-Sharif writes that King Abdullah had lost trust in Netanyahu who, in Amman's view, violated every agreement and understanding reached with Jordan over the years. The current prime minister Naftali Bennett is even more right-wing than his predecessor. His party rejects a two-state solution and supports expanding Jewish settlements in the West Bank. In Gaza, members of the Fatah party are resigning in droves over growing frustration with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas. Critics claim the authorities are employing a policy of alienation and exclusion against whoever opposes the president's policies, writes Maya Abu Hassanin. The resignations follow the recent dismissals of several Fatah figures by Abbas, as well as the killing of a political activist and Palestinian Authority critic who died while in PA custody. Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa al qadmi hosted Jordanian King Abdullah and Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Sunday. He marked the first official visit by an Egyptian head of state to the Iraqi capital since the 1990s. Ali Mamori writes that besides economic, political, and intelligence cooperation, the meeting covered security threats like the Islamic State and regional conflicts in Syria, Libya, and Yemen. Following the US and NATO's withdrawal of safeguarding Kabul's civilian airport, Turkey has stepped up to the plate and is offering to fill the void. The Biden administration has reportedly welcomed Turkey in taking on this lead role, writes Fahim Tastikin. Now, Ankara is reaching out to both Pakistan and Iran, ensuring up regional support. Finally, our hot take this week on why incoming Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi may still want an Iran nuclear deal done before he takes office on August 3rd. Read all of this and more at our website.